Hello, thanks very much for joining me again. Um, today's little video is going to be about another brass pen kit that we have. Now, I'm just going to touch on the one that we already have. There's a video for this as well. Um, th there's the original brass pen kit. It's quite a substantial size, as you'll see. This is the fountain pen kit. And this one turns, um, you can actually hold the brass part um, and turn a single ended kit. Now, we've got a new kit, which is a little bit different. Um, and you'll see when I hold it up here, it's a little bit smaller um, than the other one. This is a double ended kit, so it has an end, so it can be turned between centres. Now, now, the advantage of a solid brass pen kit over traditional pen kits, uh, traditional ones lots of you will be familiar with, generally they're steel and they're plated in chrome, gunmetal cheap gold 24 karat gold all manner of different finishes um, so if you touch a tool or anything like that on one of those finishes it is i believe the technical term knackered um, however with a brass pen kit that's not quite the same um, the brass pen kits that we have but both of the ones that we have they do have a finish on them it's a, it's a lacquer finish um, which can be removed so if you're turning these and these don't have tubes um, the one I'm going to talk to you about in a minute, I'll show you what comes in the pack. Um, but you can sand it and refinish it and add the finish that you're putting on your pen back onto the brass um, part. So it, it's not actually going to ruin the pen itself. So if inside the packet we've got a refill, as you would expect, and a little spring that's to go on the end of the, the rollerball refill. There is a nib connector, there is the nib which screws on like so and then there's the pen cap which screws on there so there's the end of the pen as it will come in the packet and then there's the oops hang on they're difficult to grab hold of these there we go a little brass end there now the brass end you'll see is flat if you want to turn a pen with this in and um, finish this on the pen you can do that brass is fairly soft and as long as you have a steel um, live tailstock you can do what you'll see I've done here um, and it's the tailstock that's just made that little point it does have to be smack bang in the middle I don't normally do it that way but it can be done that way um, it just leaves a little um, pin mark in the end there um, so that's basically what comes in the kit the drilling for this I'm not going to show you but I will explain to you what I've drilled you basically need a seven millimeter drill for the refill you need an eight and a half millimeter drill to fit the nib connector and you need a four millimeter drill for the end cap here um, and they're all pretty standard sizes so that shouldn't be difficult at all now i said at the beginning i was going to make the world's silliest pen um, and what i'm going to show you how to make in a minute is this um, enormously long part pen part wand um, I'll undo that yes it's extremely long it's about a foot long completely daft but you can use it um, and they're an enormous amount of fun so this is the one I'm going to go on and show you how to make in a little uh, in a few minutes um, this is a dig bow it's horrible wood um, but when I made this that you'll see in a minute um, it was so much fun I went and made another one um, out of Spalted Beach and they're a huge amount of fun to make um, and people have asked me what on earth is it and I like that just because it's different when you do a normal pen you can see what a normal pen is but that generates a little bit of interest and of course it's not only that um, that you can do you could do something like this I've used something different I've used a bit of brass from our fiddle rail range down there to support this and I've also used it in the end there but there's just a little pen stand that drops in um, with the little um, end that I've made there and a hole that I've drilled in the top it's pretty simple but it's a little bit different and I've not seen anyone make something quite like that um, and all these things um, Oh, huge fun to make they're, they're fun for me anyway i hope you'll get some fun out of this uh, and can make something original that's a little bit um different um so let's go on and i'll show you how i made the foot long pen before i get a bit of wood let's just quickly pop up on the screen 
the measurements that you'll need. The instructions are downloadable on the website, um, as are a, a lot of our stuff. We quite often there's a video link, and underneath that there's instructions where you can download the instructions. But I'll pop those on the video as well, so you can see them. So get ready to pause your video in a moment if you want to scribble those down. It's pretty straightforward, and then we'll get on with actually turning the pin. So I've got my exceptionally long blank here, eight and a half millimeter hole, brass insert um, nib connector in this end. I haven't glued it, I've just tapped it in and I've cheated a little bit. What I've actually done here is use the end of the Jacobs chuck to flatten off the end. So it works a little bit like uh, a barrel trimming set um, and it's just got it flat and it'll cut it level um, with the um, the drill down the center and I've done the same you can see a little bit better on that end uh, and I've drilled my four millimeter hole in that end and use the end of the Jacobs chuck on there so we'll pop it onto the lathe and see what weird and wonderful shape we can make So, off camera, I've put the spring down there because I was having a little play to make sure it works before I show you guys what I do. So the spring is down there uh, and it does all work. The refill goes in there. Then we'll pop the little nib section on there. Then we can pop the cap on there. And then about 18 feet down the other end, we can pop our little brass cap. That actually needs gluing in, in the end there, but um, that's gone slightly loose because it's had the the tail stock in there that needs gluing in but there we have the world's most ridiculous pen but it's a little bit different and it does at least go to show you um, that there are no limits as to what you can do with one of these kits and that may well draw a little attention at a craft show I suspect so I hope that's been helpful and of interest to some of you. Um, so here we are again, a couple of the um, really long um, pen kits. Um, and as I showed you before at the beginning, um, the other pen in its um, odd little stand there. Um, but it's quite nice and that one sits on my desk and I have to say I do use it. Um, if you have any questions, drop us an email. Please visit the website and have a look around. And um, I hope we've got something a little bit different to many other people to offer. Um, thanks very much for joining me again. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Happy turning. Happy making. Whatever it is you do in your workshop. Take care. Bye-bye for now.